Hello, here's another video that we're doing. If you're at home, not able to get to the gym or not wanting to get outside, uh, keeping the social distance. Today, we're going to talk about the push-up, different variations of it. That way you can, you can gear it to your level of ability. Uh, so all the way from being up high, all the way down to a full up push-up. Uh, in here, we're wanting to get some muscle stimulation. If you're used to going to the gym and you're not going to the gym, uh, then here's something you can do to keep your muscles alive and active. At the same time, be keeping the cardiovascular health, keeping the respiratory health going. So, Nicole's going to show in this push-up here. So how we can do this push-up here is this would be comparable to what we're doing on a countertop at home. Uh, we do realize not everybody can do a push-up from the floor. That's fine. Work within your level of ability. And at the same time, we're going to be able to get chest, shoulder, and triceps. Uh, so this would be at a countertop. Um, after this, we can do something that would be comparable to using a couch or possibly a coffee table. You can use your bed, the mattress. And uh, then you're getting a little deeper push-up. You can see she's lower to the ground. That's going to be more intensive if you are more advanced with it. Uh, next, we'll show a regular push-up, full out. This would be the more advanced, full body, self-limiting exercise. Definitely stabilizing through the core. So it's basically a moving plank. It's called a push-up because we're using the chest, shoulder, and tricep. And then another modification that we can do would be going from the knees. With the knees, you're going to want to get your shoulders, hips, and knees in a straight line the best that you can. And then if you bring your feet up, Nicole, and cross them, <clears throat> there we go. And you can see she can still get into a good plank this way. And then just work within your limitations here. We're going to give some other exercises as well. If you put them all together and develop a nice little routine, you're going to get some heart rate and some respiratory reaction with it also. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> nice. Excellent. And remember to stay hydrated. Hydration is another one that we can do. Hydration is a, another thing that we can do to fight this. Also limiting your sugar intake. That's going to be another thing. Uh, plenty of fruits and vegetables. If you can still find them at the store, produce is usually pretty good. I've been able to find some of that. Other items, not so easy to find. But some of those things in the aisles are not the best for us. But keep it hydrated, keep active, keep the heart rate moving, keep the lungs moving. And that's going to help us get through this.